you want the coffin? Mm. No. You can have but it. I'll take you already it. Did. Just take the coffin. I took the coffin. Calm I down. Know. You just said no and then took everything. I know. <laughs> it was a treat. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, that was a horrible experience because it was totally weird and awkward and I didn't really understand why this person was very scary looking. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. Fun experiences at the end. PM. This is why I stick with QT. Oh my god! Everything wants to fucking kill us! Well, yes, that's the point of the game. Let me see if I have any better weapons. Don't forget, we we have bows. Can we shoot down? I don't remember how to shoot anything. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think we can aim down. What's this? What's this? I'm sorry for the hiccups. You're fine. Hmm. Wait. No. That's weird. Okay. So. Um. I went to Lake Pleasant today. Mm-hmm. It's a lake, for those of you who don't know. I guess it's kind of implied in the name, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's a lake in our state. <laughs> um, for the fireworks. Uh-huh. I was aware of that part. Yeah. And, um... I already don't like the roads because they're, like... Like, once you actually get to the area, the mountain, like has so many narrow passages and there's so many people that are like speeding which i don't even get like i'm like there's like all these like random ass turns and whips and like all of a sudden out of nowhere cliff with no warning yeah. and there's people like just like oh, i'm gonna go 50 around this mountain like why yeah but anyways not the point so when you go there the main entrance to the actual harbor area oh good idea um the main entrance to the harbor area has usually Every year for the fireworks, they'll do, like, um... No, oh, that's not working out. Um... They'll usually have, like, a couple cops and things like that just by the main entrance because... So they can direct traffic, set up cones, and get prepared for the end of it when there's a lot of people leaving. Yeah. So, like, driving up there, we saw, like, I don't know, five or six cops that, at the um, entrance area just kind of, like, setting everything up wearing their vests and everything and then we stayed there like just before the fireworks started so like two hours because then we ended up leaving because of crazy ass winds and my purse was getting like blown away and it was terrifying um yeah. so then we were leaving because we want we one didn't want to be competing with drunks and everything while to get home and then it's bad enough there's a storm so when we got to the press with me yes when we got to the <laughs> you picked that up so fast <laughs> I know, I was really afraid. You're like, no, you will not steal more. When we got back, on our way back, when we passed the um, harbor entrance, there was an accident there. Like, right by where the cops were standing. Oh. And it was, it was like, it was something really minor. Like, you could tell no one was, like, seriously injured. So that's good. But it was Did just kind of like, arrows? I'm trying to, it was kind of just, like, really weird because I was like, why, like, there's, like, six cops that was there earlier directing traffic. So do they, like... Did they Dir cause the accident? That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, did they direct someone into another car? Like, how? That's what freaking happened with me that one time. I, I know, remember. and I was just like, how? But I was just like, but what if that's not what happened? How bad would you feel if you're like, you just like crash like right next to these cops and they like see that it's your fault and everything? That is just yeah. awkward. Ooh, For anybody who doesn't know, um, when I was like 18, they shouldn't know, Sam. Yeah. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, when I was 18, um, I was driving home from work one day. It was like 1 o'clock in the morning because I used to work at a theater. So um, I did closing and you know how closing at a movie theater is. And I don't um, know. we kind of lived out in the rural area. So um, it was like lots of driving where there was like basically nowhere to do anything. Like no kind of con uh, no street lights or anything, and they were doing construction on the road that I was driving by. So <sighs> annoying. And this cop was Fuck basically you, in charge please. of watching and uh, and watching and ma maneuvering the tractors and the people that were um, doing the construction. And he had told a tractor to start going, and so he moved the lanes into one lane instead of the two lanes that we had. 
Um, unfortunately, he wasn't wearing a vest, so you couldn't see him in the dark. And why did it get all creepy sounding all of a sudden? I don't know, but go through the door because there's a lot of coffins over here. Yay, coffins! And so when he had told um, the person in front of me to go over, they didn't see them. And so they had to swerve directly in front of me because they were in the other lane. And so they basically ran into me. And then I was somehow the one that was at fault. Even though the cop was like, no, that was totally my fault. I, I, I totally directed them right into you. And I was like, well, thanks. I thought so. that um, the cop was found at fault, but then like later one of the other drivers was trying to like sue or something. Yeah, well, it, 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 since I was behind everybody, it, it's customary to just, whoa. Um, the, the way the laws go is um, whoever ends up back ending them just automatically gets the ticket. That's silly. And then you go to court and stuff. So, um, and they hadn't even questioned me when I, because it was my first car accident ever. So I was hysterical. And so they didn't ever actually question me. They just questioned everybody else, which they're not supposed to do. So when I went into court and I told the judge my side of the story and the fact that the cop wasn't even there, he's like, oh, okay, well then, yeah, you're not at fault. This isn't your fault. So they basically found me not at fault, but one of the guy's insurances was like, uh, this is a lot of money that we have to pay out, so we don't want you to be not at fault. We want you to pay for everything. And we were like, um, no. <laughs> like, that's not happening. <laughs> yeah. Like, good luck with that. Like, I have that kind of money. You'll see me. Like, bad enough, you wrecked my car. Yeah, I'm like, no, I don't have a car. I'm not paying for you guys, too. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I just thought it was weird that there's like five cops there and it's an accident. Ooh, that was scary. Yeah. Don't bite me, you fool. Jump! Um, no. I already got hit. It's too late for me. Damn it. Didn't. I just threw it at you. I'll take one for the team. Oh my god, you can't jump with this stupid ice like encased around you. I don't know if you, you noticed, but it's frustrating. You can time it really, really well. I can't. My life is over. See that? Give me the heart. At least you don't get damage. Did, I, did, did you Sorry. just do what I think you just did after I just told you to not do what you just did? I didn't process what you were saying. What else would I be saying? Like, I seriously, know. outside the game, but that would just be weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. You can't have my heart outside the game. Oh, I'm dead. I was trying. I, I like to switch the health tab to like heal. I'm like. Um, you can't really heal death. Oh gosh, I can't remember how to get- oh, okay, that's right. But yeah, I didn't get to see the fireworks, which is kind of a bummer, but... It was like, the way the winds was- I, I can't even believe that they still did the fireworks. It was yeah. insane, like, I'm not even kidding, Sam, like, you- I don't know if you've ever tried to hold my purse. I'll- I'll give it to you tomorrow to hold. You can't steal it, though. Um... Okay, because that was my whole plan. Who knows? I'm not even kidding. Oh, sorry, I got distracted by one of my weapons. I'm gonna try it real quick. Um. Damn it! I'm not gonna try this jump. I'm running away. Um. Oh my gosh! What was I trying to tell you? You know what? <laughs> Screw it. Hold on. Screw it. I'm I'm dead. I'm going down here. Uh, tell me how it is. Well, there's a thing right here. So obviously we were supposed to go down here. I'm gonna kill this bastard first, cause last time jumpings and holes and sinks, <laughs> and you told me it was okay and it wasn't. <laughs> I never, s never said to come down following me. I just said that you wouldn't die if you fell. It was the same thing. We all heard it. I'm gonna rewind oh and prove myself right. Would you come down here? I cannot do anything until you come down. But here. my purse is really heavy, and it was like actually legitimately being like flown away. Like I swear, those winds were crazy. Yeah. Like, deactivate the crusher on level 5. Do you hear me? Deactivate the crushers on- what? I don't know, I skipped through it, so I didn't, I didn't actually Oh, read I think it. it was quoting Star Wars. So, um... Anyways. As I was saying. And then it started, like, lightning, like, at a, like, I'm not even kidding, it went from, like, very peaceful, all, like, no clouds, all like, oh, yay, this is so nice, this is like a picnic. I'm dead. 
Oh my god, these guys do so much damage. Did he bite you? No. Okay. I'm dead too. Oh, cool. Um. They went from like really nice scenery to like all of a sudden out of nowhere, like just like I thought a tornado was going to appear. That's it weird. It was insane, and I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> Try so using a different weapon. I I am trying a different weapon right now, actually, compared to what I was using before. Yeah. I'm gonna try my poker stick thing. Hey, poke you. At least we don't have to start all the way from the beginning. This is very true. Alright, I'm gonna try poker stick too. Yeah. Maybe if you get behind them. Well, they oh. can turn around. I think we're just both gonna die right here. I think I did die right there. Fuck you, monsters. I hate this DM. Like, this DM is the worst fucking DM on the planet. I know. Really? Like, it's so... ugh. Hmm. Alright. This is a little frustrating. <laughs> yeah, and we, and we need the experience. Apparently. So we have to keep trying to die. Yeah. Um, okay. Anyways, uh, the boss hunt fight is gonna be horrible when we get to it. What is that? Like, why does it make that terrifying noise every once in a while? It's like, I oh my know. god! Like, I already know there's guys there. You don't need to remind me with your scary music. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay. So I have a friend. I'm yes. going to call Lauren. Victoria. Okay. It's her middle name. <laughs> That's all I could think of. Um, oh no. Do we want to kill those or do we just want to move on? No, we want to kill those. Why? Because I want to get to that. To what? I wanted to see if I could jump over there. Are you kidding? No. I'm not going to join you in this jumping facade. Hey, so Victoria, my friend. Yeah. Code name. Um text me the other day. Uh-huh. And she's like, um Is it who I'm thinking of and not who I'm thinking of? I don't know. <laughs> it's the one that's not the veterinarian. No, it is the veterinarian. Oh, okay. So she texts me. The, the one that's not a veterinarian can't text. Well she oh, I could, but she it would cost her money. She doesn't have text but still stuff. She doesn't want it. But then there's people. I probably shouldn't gossip over YouTube. There's certain individuals that I know of that will, um, that, well, they would. I don't know if they still will. But they did text her anyways. Oh, all I the time. Know. And I was like, why, like, why would you text someone that I can't text? Why am I stuck on my arrow? It's just, I'm like, I'm, oh, God, this is so much fun. I'm so not helpful right now. I wouldn't let me switch to a sword, so it's like, I'm trying to like, yeah, arrow these tentacles, that's weird. Anyways. But yeah, I think that's really weird, because people still text her even though they know it costs her money. So, the veterinarian. Right. The veterinarian. Um. Yeah, we know a veterinarian. <laughs> she texted me the other day, and she's just like, um, is Chris home? And I was like, yeah. Like, this is a random question to ask me. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just like, yeah, did you want to know out of curiosity or <laughs> like yeah, dot dot dot? Like, <laughs> and then it took her like two hours to respond. So I'm like sitting there, like, really, like, what the hell is this? Like, <laughs> like why are you asking if he's home? <laughs> and I was like, did I respond incorrectly? <laughs> like, like, did you not want him home? Was this a was this a test? What's happening? And, like, I so just wanted to keep texting and be like, you texted me first. <laughs> but she just wanted to say happy birthday to him. And I was like, uh -oh. why did it take you so freaking long to respond? And why wouldn't you just say happy birthday in my text, in the first text? Just be like, hey, if Chris is there, tell him happy birthday. Obviously, yeah. I'm going to see him at some point, even if he's not home right that second. Yeah. <laughs> so it was just like, that was a weird way to go about it. But I guess her, she didn't have, because I thought she had his numbers. And I guess uh, her phone, like, she reset her contacts or her phone did on its own or something. So she didn't have anyone's numbers. Oh, okay. 
By the way, um, we haven't really been keeping track, so, um... Uh, yeah, we're just kinda... Well, we can just end it here real quick. Well, let me catch up to you, though. I don't like to end it when we're apart. It's awkward. Well, no, I was just gonna say, we're, we're, we're just gonna pull a child of light and just end them randomly. No, I want to end it. Okay. Alright, guys. Um, This is Haphazardly. Signing out.